Welcome, pen pals. This is Tom Otto with Gold Spot Pens. Happy Friday, everybody. Today is Employee Appreciation Day, and how much more do I appreciate all of the fellow employees at Gold Spot Pens? And we uh, we did a a fun little quesadilla, a Lent uh, friendly quesadilla cook off earlier today, and we're doing a live unboxing today as well. So uh, this is the. New limited edition from Leonardo Officina Italiana. This is the Messenger. And you can see here we have a different decoration to the outer sleeve of the box. It is a limited edition of 366. So there you have Tre Cento Sessanta Sei. So you have the Messenger, and then you have the sultry bedroom eyes of Leonardo, the drawing of Leonardo da Vinci there. And you have inspired by the past to write the present, leonardopen.com, along with a drawing, one well, of Leonardo's drawings, his technical drawings that he would have done. You open up the inner box sleeve to reveal the inner inner box. So you have this Leonardo Vicina Italiana here, which is very good. It's a plain black box, clamshell. Open it up. We have a booklet with the same graphic on the box sleeve, which contains pretty pictures of all of the colors in this collection. I'll put that off to the side. Inner part of the box here has a nice soft fabric. Logo for Leonardo Officina Italiana, along with the wings that they're known for there. Then we have the pen. Comes in a plastic sleeve here, which I'm popping the pen out of. Put that there. This is the Messenger design, which is a new, completely new, different design than the Momento Zero or the Furore collection. Instead of having the pointed ends, kind of like the Momento Zero, it has kind of a soft little bit of a rounded end. This is the aqua or water blue. Semi-translucent acrylic, so you could see almost clearly through to the converter, or you could see clearly through to the nib here. In some areas, you can little, see a little splotch of ink that's there. I already put ink in this pen. You have the wedding band style cap band. has Leonardo in a different engraving style than you would normally see on, let's say, their nibs. So it's a different like logo style for them, a little bit more uh, artistic looking, kind of like how you would imagine Leonardo da Vinci would, may write his name, possibly. I don't know, but just a guess. And uh, and then you have Officina Italiana engraved. And then on the back here, we have the edition number. So you have this is number 50 of 366. No engravings here on the top cap finial. No engravings here on the bottom end either. So we screw off the cap. And we've got ourselves some metal barrel threads here which gives way when we unscrew the section here. And we have a metal inner section and a metal sleeve that's inside of this acrylic resin section there. And then we have a converter, which is the standard threaded Schmidt K5 type converter. Does not have any Leonardo branding like the Momento Zero would be, but it's a standard converter, so no extra bells and whistles there. We have the nib is a Leonardo engraved Yovo number six size nib, which does unscrew from this section here. So if you're familiar with Leonardo, they also have uh, Bach nibs on most of their other uh, pens, including the Momento Zero and the Furore collection. And primarily it was kind of known for its Bach uh, nibs, but these messenger pens all come with Yovo number six nibs. So a lot of people are bigger fans, I'd say, of Yovo number six. They've become rather ubiquitous in the fountain pen market these days. Um, so it's it's kind of interesting to see Leonardo take a step away from Bach and use Yovo, perhaps to uh, kind of diversify the pen 
portfolio, if you will. Make sure that if one vendor does sell out, you have a nib availability with another vendor. So you got jumbling all five colors here. So as you can see, there's a wide variation in the swirlies and the transparency. It's pretty much the same on all of these styles. The caramel, which this is the caramel, has a little bit more of uh, some chatoyance in some of the areas here. You see that pearlized sort of cat's eye effect as I'm turning it in the light. So you see it does have a lot of translucency, but it also has a little bit of chatoyance, which uh, these styles do not. They just more or less have a semi-translucency, which is cool in some of these areas. This reminds me a lot of the Delfino Momento Zero that we have, where you could see the, the very fine lines of how the swirls kind of interact with each other and kind of play with the eye a little bit. This is the green. So it's kind of like a little smoky, wispy, white swirl in the green. And we looked at the aqua. And when this is the orange or arancha. And uh, we have the red here. You see the red has a nice, very vibrant color. And also the same translucency that's working through there. I did forget to mention the clip. Uh, most of the other Leonardo pens have the wheel clip. This has got like that S-bend sort of clip. It's fixed on the top there. It's tension fixed. Look inside here. It's completely acrylic on the inside. And that, that screw is hidden on the top part of the cap finial. So... We looked at the design of the pen. We looked at all of the colors. Uh, time to take a look at a little comparison. So believe it or not, the caramel, the rest are Italian acrylics. The caramel is actually not an Italian acrylic. This is actually a, a, a commercial grade acrylic. I believe it's sourced from Taiwan, but it's something that you would actually see in a... Um, let's say the Edison Collier or the Desiderata exclusive pen that we have. Uh, it's, the, it's this very similar type of acrylic that's used to that, if not the same kind of stock acrylic that they would use for that. But it, it definitely does have a lot of density, a lot of color uh, visualization through there. So you have, this is a, a Momento Zero in the Pietra Marina. And we'll take a look at it, direct comparison with the Messenger. So Messenger is slightly bit longer. And I'll put all the dimensions in the notes below after we're done recording this video. So you can see the dimensions of the Messenger. So just slightly longer too. The grip section has a little bit more length. But as you can see, when you take a look, closer look here, the grip section has that taper and that little flare out towards the end. The Momento Zero section you know, has that kind of that, uh, that convex sort of you know, taper as it goes in there, which I really do love. This section is my favorite to, to write with because I really like the kind of like this, the gentle sloping of that, that bulge that's there. So you have these metal sections here versus the, uh, the acrylic sections that are the acrylic uh, threads that are here, which I feel when you cap the pen on the Momento Zero, it just has that really nice, smooth, feeling of acrylic on acrylic. This being that's acrylic on metal, you can kind of even hear it as it's it's also hitting the the lip of the cap as you're putting it on. Doesn't quite have that same satisfying feeling. I know it's really picky, but that's just something I noticed. I figured that, you know, as I'm playing with it, that's something that you guys would probably point out as well. So I'll take it and post it on here. 
you know, I really sold, I really got sold on Bach nibs and, and as much, as much negative press as they get, I was really sold on Bach nibs when, uh, the Leonardo's came out and, uh, and I was thinking, oh, well, this was going to be the way that they could bolster the reputation of Bach is by really, you know, working on these nibs, making sure that they're nicely in, in tuned as they leave the factory. They weren't really as much as f at first, so you would have a lot of issues with baby's bottom, hard starting, some skipping and everything. But since we had really worked with Leonardo and, and gave them the feedback for that we were getting from our customers, um, the nibs have been coming out a lot more consistently, extremely nice. Um, the, uh, you know, but we have, we sell the Bach nibs separately and, and we've, we've sold like a, probably at least a good hundred or so just the nibs alone and, uh, and really have not had any issues. Uh, I mean, see, some occasionally, yes, bring it back or whatever. And then we could just slightly give it a little tuning. Sometimes it just needs, uh, you know, a little bit of some, love to get it going to get it writing perfectly but once it is it's just really such a nice wet smooth writer a little bit of bounce and we're actually going to show you because i have both of these pens inked up so i could show you direct comparison of an extra fine momento zero bach nib versus any of these guys so i have all nib sizes in the messenger inked up and i will show you all of these pens show you the different nib sizes. Yeah, the Yovos, they got, they got a little scritch. They got a little scritch on that extra fine and the fines. So I just did a video. It was like a video that produced with Chris with um, showing how to get proper shading. And, um, you know, and this was like, probably this is probably the one thing that I would recommend if somebody's like really wants to see shading and sheen is really upgrading the the paper as the base is like one thing that is awesome about like you know you, you could find shading inks you could go and get something like this citrus black or whatever you know you could get sh different shading inks but like paper is really like one of the more important parts that people just kind of gloss over so this is um a endless recorder 68 gsm tomei river paper notebook i think we'll be carrying these at gold spot soon so bother bother us asking me uh at, not asking me particular but ask us to carry endless and i think we'll we'll do that for you guys so start out the high end we have the messenger here and we have the let's see well right uh messenger and this is the 1.1 millimeter stub inked with diamine earl gray thanks awd photography appreciate it uh so when we have abroad so we gotta get i actually do not have i don't have a fine point I don't have a fine point with me. I thought I did. Um, so you have, this is with Sailor Manuel Haha. It's one of my new favorite colors. It's called a dual shader because not only does it shade in its natural kind of powdery blue color, but it has like purple and like a little bit of green in there too. It's really wild. Which one was this one? This one was also a broad. Let's go with the medium. So this one is the
medium point. And this is inked with Leonardo, Hawaii, turquoise. Nice bold blue color. Love me a good turquoise. Now I, regrettably, I don't have a fine point. I do have an extra fine. Now, see, you can, I maybe even might be able to hear it, um, but the extra fine has got a good level of the, whoops, of the scritchiness. A little scritch. However, not entirely unpleasant. It just lets you know that you're writing with a very fine nib. So with a, fine, with a fine or an extra fine comes the scritch. It is a fact of life. It is something that you just need to embrace. If you're a fine or an extra fine person, you need to write every little note that you could possibly put on a 3 by 5 index card. Your extra fine awaits you in this Yovo number 6 nib. Now, if you were to compare it with, let's say, a Bach number six size nib in extra fine, So there you go. That is an extra fine nib. I say that like jokingly because like, as you can see, it does not write like the Yovo number six extra fine nib. It writes more like the medium size nib. Yeah, it's real wet, but I love it. I love it. That's what really turned me on to these Bach nibs is that they're just, they're so dang wet. And I mean, like they got the, you know, bit of like some line variation you could push out of it too. Like this is almost as good as let's say buying a uh, a Noodler's uh, Flex nib, with how much line variation you could get out of it. This is probably like fifteen times better than a Noodler's Flex nib because it doesn't smell and it and uh, you know and the and it'll actually write when you want it to. So um, you know, but like looking, comparing, and saying like, okay, well. This is what I can get out of a Momento Zero. Momento Zero, like this Pietra Marina, $199. Or, like if you go to the Positano, or I think the other uh, colors that are in the Momento Zero collection, they're $169. The Messenger is $164. So, very little difference in terms of cost. It's not like the Momento Zero is that much more of a really, really pricey pen. It's just different. And I appreciate the, the bit of difference that you could get with coming out with the Messenger collection. It's not something that's going to be around for a while, being that it's only limited to 366 pieces of each color made for this year. So I wouldn't anticipate that this particular collection, you know, will be available all throughout the year. You know, knowing how popular Leonardo pens are, you know, maybe a few months, maybe until like later on in the fall that these will be available and maybe they might come out with new colors in it. I don't know, 
But I know they will continue to come out with the Memento Zero. I know that they have other things up their sleeve with the Cuspid, and I'm really looking forward to that as well. Um, I just wanted to touch on nib, compa nib compatibility really quick, is that, you know, being that these are both number six size nibs, you can't just unscrew and screw in and screw out the Bach versus the Yovo. You do need to um, pull out the nib from the uh, housing. So you, let's say you could unscrew the, the, the housing from the pen and then pull out the nib in the feed, and then you could swap just the nib only, and then it will be able to fit. Um, but you have to keep the feeds on the particular pen, and also you have to make sure you screw back in the same uh, nib unit housing into the same pen, because they won't they won't be compatible with each other that way. So you could swap the actual metal nib, but you can't swap the whole entire section. I tried it. I tried it um, because I do like my Bach nibs. So I uh, appreciate you guys for checking out this unboxing and writing sample. I uh, would love it if you guys gave us a like and a subscribe on YouTube and stay tuned for when all these pens will be featured in an upcoming video that talks about shading and talks about how to produce awesome shading using your pens and inks and paper. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a great weekend. Stay inky, my friends. Take care.